Hello friends. This is third part of How to implement one-time password login system in PHP script. And in this part, we will learn How to validate user password details. And if user enter right password, then generate dynamic OTP and send via email. For this, we have go to login.php file, and herein, we have go to jQuery code of login form submit, and here we have go to ajax success callback function. Here we have write, else if statement, and under condition, we have write action variable value is equal to password, if this condition true, then it will execute this block of code under this block we have again write if statement and under condition we have write data dot error variable value is not equal to blank if this condition true that means user enter wrong password and it will execute if block of code under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id user password error with text method, and under this, we have write data dot error. It will display validation error below password field. But suppose user has enter write password, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block. We have write dollar with span tag id user password error with text method and under this method we have write blank value it will remove validation error. After this we want to hide content of password area field so here we have write dollar with division tag id password area with css method. And under this, we have set display property with none value. And same way, we want to display content of OTP area field. For enter OTP number, for this here, we have write dollar with division tag ID, OTP area with CSS method, and under this, we have set display property with block value. Now we have go to login verify.php file and here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to password. If this condition true that means it will validate user password details and it will execute this if block of code under this block we have again write if statement and under condition we have write dollar post user password variable value is not equal to blank if this condition falls then it will execute else block of code and here we have write dollar error variable is equal to password is required and below it we have write dollar next action variable is equal to password But suppose above condition true, then it will execute if block of code. And here we want to validate user enter password with database hash formatted password. For this, here we have write if statement and under condition, we have write password verify method with two parameter. In first parameter, we have write dollar post user password variable, and in second parameter, 
we have write dollar session user password variable. Suppose above condition false, that means user enter password is not match with MySQL database hash formatted password, then it will execute else block of code. And under this block, we have write dollar error variable is equal to rowing password and dollar next action variable is equal to password. But suppose user enter write password, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have write dollar login OTP variable is equal to PHP rand function with two parameter. This code will randomly generate OTP number. After this, we want to store login data in MySQL login data table. For this, here we have write dollar data variable is equal to array. In array first key, we have write double colon user ID, and in value we have write dollar session register user ID variable. In array second key, we have write, double colon login OTP, and in value, we have write dollar login OTP variable. In array third key, we have write, double colon last activity, and in value, we have write PHP date function, it will return current date and time, so here we have store data in array. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into login data with table column like user ID, login OTP, last activity with values like double colon user ID, login OTP and last activity. This query will insert login data in MySQL login data table. Below this, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare method and under this we have write dollar query variable this method will make query for execution process and for execute above insert query we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this we have write dollar data variable if query successfully run then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write dollar session login id variable is equal to dollar connect variable with last insert id method this method will return last inserted ID. After this, we have write dollar session login OTP variable is equal to dollar login OTP variable. So here we have store OTP number under session variable for future use. Now we want to load PHP mailer class. So we have write required statement with class folder slash class dot php mailer dot php. This statement will load php mailer library and here class is a folder name in which we have store php mailer library. Now we want to create object of this php mailer class. So we have write dollar mail variable is equal to new PHP mailer class. Here we have create dollar mail object of this PHP mailer class. After this, 
we start writing PHP mailer configuration for send email. So we have write dollar mail object with is SMTP method. This method sets mailer to send message using SMTP credential. Below this, we have write dollar mail object with host is equal to SMTP out dot secure server dot net. Here we have define SMTP host server. After define host server, now we have again, we have write dollar mail object with post is equal to 80. Here we have define SMTP server port. Now we have write dollar mail object with SMTP auth is equal to true. Here we have to define SMTP authentication like username and password is required for send email. Next, we have write dollar mail object with username is equal to SMTP username. Here you have to define your SMTP username, if you have then write here. After define username, now we have write dollar mail object with password. Here you have to define your SMTP password. If this both SMTP username and password proper then, it will shoot email. Then after, we have write dollar mail object with SMTP secure is equal to blank. Here you can write SSL or TSL, if you have otherwise leave blank. Now we have again write dollar mail object with from option, and here we can define email, from which you have received email, so here we have write tutorial, at the rate webs lesson dot info. Below this, we have write dollar mail object with from name is equal to, webs lesson, here we have sets from name of the message, and this name will be viewed to receiver. Now we want to set receiver email address. So here we have write dollar mail object with at address method. And under this, we have write dollar session user email variable. So it will send email to register user email address. Below this, we have again write dollar mail object with is HTML method, and under this method, we have write true, so here we have set message type to HTML, otherwise it email format will be plain text. Now we want to define subject of email, so we have write dollar mail object with subject is equal to, Verification code for login. This is subject of email. And lastly in email configuration, we want to define email body. So here we have write dollar message body variable is equal to this text. Under this text, here we have write dollar login OTP variable. So it will make dynamic email body, with different OTP number. Now, here we have write dollar mail variable, with body is equal to dollar message body variable. So here we have set email body, under this email configuration. Next, for send email, we have write if statement. And under condition we have write dollar mail object with send method. This condition will check, if email send successfully, then, it will execute if block, otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose email successfully send, then it will execute, if block of code, and under this block, 
we have right dollar next action variable is equal to OTP. But suppose, there is an error in email sending, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have right dollar error variable is equal to dollar mail object with error info variable. Here we have store error message under this dollar message variable. Below this, we have write dollar next action variable is equal to password. So here our code is ready for validate user password details. Friends, first we have refresh web page, then on web page. It has asked for enter email address details. So here we have enter register user email address details. And click on next button. After click on next button. Then it has asked for enter password details. So first we have directly click on next button. So after click on next button. Then it has display validation error like password is required. So now we have enter drawing password details. And click on next button. Then it has again display validation error like drawing password. So here our validation working properly. Now we have enter write password. And click on next button. Now it will take some time, because it has validate password details, and then after it has send email with OTP number. After this, on web page, it has asked for enter OTP number. So for OTP number, we have to go our email address in box. So, here we have to email address inbox, and here we can see, email has been received with OTP number. So, in this part, we have seen how to validate user password details, and if password is correct then it will send OTP number at your email address, and in next part, we will discuss how to validate. OTP number for login into system by using PHP script with AJAX and MySQL database. If you have any query or input regarding this part, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also.